hey what's up guys this is Akshay from AS learning and today in this video we'll be seeing about Pali Gemma so just bear with my uh, voice today because I have lots of ulcers and uh, you can see some stuttering and not so proper English okay so Pali Gemma was released by Google in Google IO recently Gemma is the open source uh, model series which Google has released and Pali Gemma is a VLN uh, vision language model so how it works is it leverages SIG LIP uh, state of the art vision model for image understanding SIG LIP is similar to clip and is trained on paired image and text data this allows it to extract meaningful visual features from images. The text processing muscle comes from Gamma. So Gamma uh, takes the text input and as well as the uh, image encoder output of Sigil IP. Okay. And uh, so Gamma is a decoder only language model. It takes the encoded image features from SIG LIP and generates text description and answers to questions or other text outputs based on the task at hand. So what is Polygenma in short? Polygenma is a VLM. It is not a LLM. So LLM is large language model. VLM is vision language model. And we also have a term called as LMM, Large Multimodal Model. Pali is also not that. Pali is a VLM, which takes help of SIG LIP image encoder. And whatever input questions you have, you can ask. And uh, in the main core base, we have the Gemma itself. It takes the encoded output from SIG uh, LIP and my question and it will be giving me the answers okay now let's see the code just bear with my voice today guys it's there's a lot of ulcers in my mouth and you must be seeing some not so proper english so here i have uh, installed transformers we have accelerate and bits and bytes although i think i have not used bits and bytes here bits and bytes is, is used for model quantization Accelerate helps with dealing with lots of uh, the different kind of GPUs, TPUs, okay, the different kind of accelerators. Uh, so here we have our installation done. Then in my secrets, I have my hugging face token. And you can load your hugging face token from here. You would need to take permission uh, from the, uh, the Gemma. Uh, page of Google for accessing the model so it's comparatively very easy when you start accessing the model they will give you an error that you don't have polygamma access you will be re redirected to polygamma page this is the hugging face page let me go to the polygamma hugging face uh, to four model, yeah, here. I think once you have now, they have told me that you have been granted access. You can come here, apply for access, and within like five minutes, you will have the access. Okay, they just take some forms, uh, some some permissions from you, and you need to accept those terms and conditions, and you're okay to use it. Okay. So now we have our installation done, our hugging face token in place, and uh, 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 we have, uh, yeah, now we have our input text that is the question what color is the flower that B is standing on? Okay, so here is a B, you're standing on a flower, and uh, we have an image URL. Okay, so here I have uh, using image, I have uh, using PIL image, I have uh, loaded my image. 
your stream is equal to true means that the image is being loaded incrementally it helps when the image is of larger size and uh, you are not loading the image in one stroke itself okay it is being increment it, it is being loaded incrementally okay now you have your image input image okay and we have the question what is the color of flower that b is standing on it should be pink okay so let's use genma and uh, sorry pali genma to solve this question so from transformers i have imported auto tokenizer pali genma from conditional generation pali genma processor okay uh, in torch i am doing the uh, device setup if you have gpus will use cuda if not it is cpu uh, but pali genma won't run on cpu okay so you will have to switch to gpus model used here is polygamma 3 billion parameter mix 2 to 4 y 2 to 4 because it is fine tuned on images of size 2 to 4 okay and uh, mix because it can understand text and vision both so let's click here as you can see that it is fine tuned with 2 to 4 into 2 to 4 input images and uh, 256 okay it's not important okay y224 is coming from here now we have our model id let's uh, let's load the model id okay we have our model loaded and now we are uh, initializing our processor which will take the image the encoded image and our question as input and will give us the answer so here my processor is taking the uh, input text and my input image here are a few parameters like return tensor pytorch and uh, padding longest and do convert to rgb this is just uh, reading the image in rgb format padding longest it makes sure that uh, the length of the uh, a sequence the stack sequence of text and image is same and longest because it is taking into consideration the most longest longest sequence okay we have our inputs now the inputs and the model will be processed it, they are being pushed to device and finally we are generating our output okay now here as you can see that what color is the flower that b is standing on and we got pink okay so in this way you can uh, use Pali Gemma uh, from Google okay and yeah I had this much only in this video stay tuned to AS for more such amazing tech stuff take care peace out